And here is the Writer's Almanac for Thursday, September the 23rd, 2021. It was on this day in 1930 that Johannes Ostermeyer, a German inventor, patented the first commercially sold flashbulb. It was a boon to amateur photography and an instant success. It also very likely saved lives and property. Beginning back in the 1860s, photographers would place a small amount of flash powder on a metal plate and ignite it, which caused a bright flash, a loud noise, smoke, and not a small number of injuries, some of them fatal. It's the birthday of the poet Yaroslav Seifert, the only Czech to receive the Nobel Prize in literature, born in a suburb of Prague in 1901. Came from a working-class family, became a journalist and a poet, was a devoted communist when the party first formed after World War I, but as a poet, he represented the poetist movement, which believed that art had no function other than art itself. He objected to the Bolshevik sympathies of the Communist Party in Czechoslovakia, for which he was expelled from the Communist Party. And two years later, 1950, a collection of his poems expressing his disillusionment with communism was censured. He survived the Nazi occupation, the Stalinist regime, communist oppression, continued writing and collecting cactus plants until he died in 1986. It's the birthday of the author of The Scarlet Pimpernel, the Baroness Emushka Ortsi, born at her family's estate in Hungary, 1865, part of the landed nobility, a novel about a swashbuckling Englishman, Sir Percy Blakeney, who helped his aristocratic brethren in France escape during the French Revolution. It's the birthday of the Roman Emperor Caesar Augustus, born in 63 B.C., the great nephew of Julius Caesar, who became Caesar's heir upon his assassination. Augustus, widely respected during his reign, he did good works. He started the first police and firefighting services. He distributed funds for soldiers and veterans, restored temples of Roman deities. The month of August is named in his honor. And it's the birthday of the Mongol Emperor Kublai Khan, born somewhere in Mongolia in 1215, who ruled over most of modern-day Mongolia and China. Marco Polo met Kublai Khan when he traveled from Venice to Mongolia and stayed 17 years there, learned the language, served in Kublai Khan's administration. And from Marco Polo's accounts, We know that Kublai Khan fathered 22 sons by his four wives and 25 sons with other women and presumably many daughters. Here's a poem for today by Linda Paston, September. It rained in my sleep and in the morning the fields were wet. I dreamed of artillery, of the thunder of horses. In the morning the fields were strewn with twigs and leaves, as if after a battle or a sudden journey. I went to sleep in the summer. I dreamed of rain. In the morning the fields were wet, and it was autumn. Linda Paston's poem, September, from her collection, Carnival Evening, published by W.W. W. Norton and Company. That's the Writer's Almanac for Thursday, September the 23rd. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.